Hi everyone, this is my last ride video and just a few final thoughts before I send the bike back on the Hyosung Aquila. Uh, nothing much to report but I do want to correct a couple of things which I did say in the other review, in the main review. Um, the only thing really is that the vibrations have got a lot better now. It's, it's to be expected on an e-bike that's only done 200 miles that it does need a bit of a thrashing and a bit of a uh, bit of a bit of a run in a, 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 a ride on the motorway or the dual carriageway just to get those rid of those vibes but doing what I do what I don't want to do is say nothing about the vibrations and then just find out after that it is actually a you know a bike that does vibrate a lot so um, I still got to report it as I see it but I can tell you now that the vibrations have got a lot better as I say uh, still a bit there but it's only done 473 miles so as time goes on, I think it will uh, flatten out as the uh, much like the 125 was. So, um, where should we do? I think we'll do a left here soon. So, overall, you know, it's um, let's pop down here actually. Let's just park her up here for a second, like so. Yeah, so the vibrations have got a lot better. Uh, now, overall, I just want to let you know that if you were thinking of having the 125 version of this bike, and you can stretch to the 300, then go for it. Apparently, I have actually heard the price now, and they say it's going to be approximately 4,200 uh, for this 300 version, whereas the 125 was three and a half grand. So, bit of a difference there. Uh, obviously because it's a bigger bike uh, but it's worth it honestly um, if this is your style of bike then uh, you're going to be you know well pleased with this bike so vibrations are sorted so I wouldn't worry about that too much as I've said before if it was me I would personally have a I'd like to have the option of having a pillion seat as well and uh, but this bike is going to seat so many people and I think um, I, I've had quite a lot of activity on the comments as well of people that are interested in this bike and uh, as I say for 4200 you know it's it's a, a very good bike it is you know in the realms of the CB300 which is 4600 or something like that so it's not far behind that but they are different bikes aren't they so it just depends what your style is and what you like more reliability wise i'm not sure if you've seen the interview that i've had with darren yet but i really wouldn't worry about that it the, the actual mechanics of the bike is very very strong very good uh, again with the finish it's more than acceptable but it's not you know like you can see this exhaust here that it's very uh, it's quite a light coat of powder coat there but on the actual frame itself and on the swing arm is all glossy and uh, quite a quite a thick paintwork there so no issues there and it goes well as well it goes really well you know it's pretty pretty quick for a 300 nicely geared as well nice ratios on the gears yeah it's got a lot going for it it's still a little bit twitchy unfortunately it's still you know at low speed below sort of 20 miles an hour it is a little bit difficult to um, to manage but again it is getting better as time goes on yeah I love the bike I think it really is a good choice and as I say if you're if you've got the 125 and are thinking of upgrading and is it worth it I can assure you it's definitely worth it because of course the 125 is still limited and uh, is still limited power wise where's that car going yeah it's still limited whereas this bike is you know got all that you need really you don't, you don't really need more than this on the road it's you know certainly in the city it, it's absolutely fine and it's quite good at cruising on the motorway as well So yeah, I could certainly uh, happily advise one and um, recommend it. It, it is a, a highly recommended bike for a 300, coming from me. 
and again that is just my opinion of course anyway I think that's the end of the series of the Hyosung Aquila GV300 I hope you enjoyed the videos and uh, I'll be getting ready for my next bike now well in fact I've got two coming at once so that should be good well it should be busy I think it's a as much as it's a good thing it's also a little bit stressful as well because having two bikes this time of year is is pretty uh, hard going but uh, yeah thanks for watching all these videos and uh, you know as normal if you've got any questions give me a shout but uh, thank you and yeah I'll see you next week cheers <laughs>